What's up everyone? Bison Comics coming at you with another video and welcome to the Players Haters Ball. I'm just messing with you. Um, I thought I'd do something a little bit more different in this video and what I'll be doing is you named it, you saw the gloves, pretty sure you're going to see a thumbnail or something soon. Uh, we're going to be dry cleaning a comic and just dry cleaning this specific comic and maybe make another video doing another type of cleaning and maybe a press. <clears throat> but what I'll be trying to clean, dry clean, is a Tales of Suspense number 95. It's pretty dirty in the front and really dirty in the back. Stains right above here and somewhere right here. Sorry. Um, in a little bit, I'll be changing the view to an overview, so you'll be seeing how I clean. But uh, right now, I'm going to just be focusing more on the back. I'll be doing the front, but I'll just do that off video, and I don't plan on making this whole video on me cleaning the back, because I don't know how long that's going to take. This is pretty much like another job. A lot of you, I've seen videos of people doing this, and you know where I'm coming from when I talk about this. But my tools I'll be showing you is your wide eraser pen, a little nice gadget. Then you got your regular wide eraser. Then I got a, I forgot they call this, sponge obviously, but a magic sponge or something like that. And also if you didn't know, if you never know anything about dry cleaning, but I'm sure you do because you'll be watching this, wanting to see my progress, see how much I suck on it. Uh, you can only really use the wide erasers on whites. Don't use them on colors. Um, because it phases the colors like ink and all that. And then you got your Absarine, which is very popular um, when it comes to a lot of people when it comes to dry cleaning and all. And this pink Play-Doh is uh, a doughy. You roll it together, clean it. And this you can use on colors. And actually, I forgot the sponge you could use on colors as well, but I kind of use my sponge a little bit differently. I'll show you in the video over, over video. Um, and that's the tools I'll be using. Some people like to use cotton balls and cotton swab. I don't, when it comes to dry cleaning, when it comes to wet cleaning, yes, they do help. But like I said, we'll be sticking to the dry cleaning process and only on the back page. Um, anything, anything else I can think of at the moment is, if you're gonna, oh yeah, any comments or anything about how much I suck, I really appreciate it because that would kind of give me more of a, hey, you need to do this better. Hey, uh, you're doing it completely wrong. Um, but let's get started on the overview video. All right, guys, we're back to the second part of the video. Um, as you can see here, we got our absorbing material mat. Um, comes in handy. Then when it comes to my cleaning, I always like to put a uh, backer board or wood stock underneath. And then Sorry, uh, I gotta grab it. I always get another backer board and put it under the exact page. Um, I don't know how other people do it. I see some people do this, I see some people not do this. And sorry about the shadowing. I've been really I'm trying to angle this right, but it's just being a little bitchy. It's fine, whatever. So um, let's just get started. And I'm gonna start right here on the left because there is a huge nasty stain. I don't know if this thing's gonna come out where it dry, but maybe hopefully it will. Let's hope. So the way I usually do it is I go up in motion. Um, it's a little coming off. Let me see all that. It's nasty. Uh, so I've been doing this for quite some time. Uh, it's another part of uh, selling like I don't I don't clean them and sell them I think I only done it to like one book I think it was a first appearance of Omega Red but it wasn't even that badly but the books I do sell I don't touch them up or anything unless I'm asked to um, uh, by the way um, if you did not know I do sell comics on Macari under the same same name, Bison Kind Comics. Sorry, Bison Comics. Um, 
I also have Instagram. If you want to follow me, I'd really appreciate it. Even on here, YouTube, a like, follow, I'd really appreciate it. You don't need to buy anything from me. Just, you know, inputs, thoughts on anything, really. Also, if you do message me on Macari about any books I'm selling, I'll gladly, gladly cut you a deal. The last video I made was just about a month ago, which I told myself not to take so long, but life happens. And I actually had five people message me, and four of those five people got a really good deal. Even I was like, damn it. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's fine, you know, getting books out to people who want them. I was just like, God dang, I wish I had a deal like that. I never get deals like that. But yeah, if you message me on Macari about anything, I'll gladly help you out. See if I can give you a good deal. Or just message me, hit me up about anything. You can even talk shit to me, which is fine. Hate comments are very welcome. It makes my day. Also, if you did not know, I'll say it again. If you're under 18, do not watch me. Do not listen to me. I don't think I'm a good influence. So I got my wide eraser here. And as you can see, I don't know if you can, but some of it did disappear. This is actually a water stain which is going to take a little bit more work. So I'll get back to that another time. But right now, we're going to get to this eraser. And I'm going to do the sides. Just give her some nice love and affection. Because these pages are old. This is a Silver Age book. And look at that. That's gunk. Is dirt. And that's what I kind of use a sponge for. I tend to just wipe it off. Like me. And it's a whole process. Um, it takes a bit. But it's fun. You should jam out music in the back. Sometimes podcast. I don't know how the video's going to come out. If it comes out shitty. I'd really appreciate the feedback about what angles or what do you think I should do or how I should go about the process of my dry erase. Um, as I was saying before, if you could follow me on Instagram or YouTube, I'd really appreciate it. Just hit me up, talk whatever. Comics, movies, video games, lifting. If you're into that, it seems to be the cool thing nowadays. I don't know about anything about politics though, but. Oh, I did see, uh, what's it called? Um, Edge of the Spider. Is it called Edge of the The latest Spider Man movie. Um, I won't spoil anything. I liked it, but I will say that movie dragged ass. Okay, what anyone says, there's so many moments that I'm going to just like, Jesus, hurry up. Get on with it already. But yes, as you can see, this did widen up a bit. Took off a lot of dirt already. And when I use the erasers, I know I said I like to go up, but... Sometimes I go down, but I keep the motion. I don't just go up, down, up, down, up, down. Because you'll just damage the page. Also, I do wear gloves to protect the comic. I turn wrenches for a living, so it might be oiled. Just dip deep in these fingers. You see all that nasty. That's dirt. That's dirt, baby. So, I guess after this, I'm not gonna do it in this video. Like I said, I won't do the whole video dry cleaning, but um, I'm gonna probably do another video, move on to hyper chain, not the hyper chain, but um, 
humidity chamber and then press or humidity chamber iron tech then press then chamber again then press final press um on this book i'll try to keep it on this book specifically and hopefully she comes out better i have to remember to do some before and after picks The white eraser. Let me move to the answering. Give me a minute. So, like I said, we got that nice pink play doh. This is used on old documents. Um, AKA also comics, these are old paper. So you just grab some, mush it together, break it apart, mush it together. And you just typically, like an eraser, you know. I noticed some people like to roll it and just roll it like dough. I don't, I don't, for me, I don't, I've tried that, I never really noticed a difference. Somebody says, or it knows why it really is different. Uh, comment me, let me know. But I tend to just do mine like up motion sometimes. So I'll do it like down like that, even though you shouldn't because the pages, but I touch it really, really soft. But already, right here, right here, it was a little bit dirty. I could totally see the difference. Um, a lot of times when I'm doing this, I have a magnifying glass. Uh, uh, glasses. Let me see where are they. I ain't wearing them now because I'm trying to pay attention to the video and make sure I'm showing you everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I wear <laughs> these. My Ghostbusters magnifying glasses. Um, I usually wear it to get, uh, make sure I'm getting the dirt off. It really, it it really helps, and I really recommend you can get it from uh, Walmart for like eight bucks, and it has a little light on it too. see just slowly slowly I'm getting dirt off right here there's a bit it seems like there's a stamped here like not ink but whatever before it was placed on something and the indention so it looks like a nine a zero do this depending on what kind of book and how dirty I tend to be like an hour or two it's pretty much the process guys just time it's pretty much time after this how long how long is that be of course not rushing you can't rush this type of stuff I'm just making a video to show you guys I do it. And as right now, I'll just leave the video at that. I'll take an after picture. And remember, this is a dry cleaning. I already took a before. Hopefully, there's a difference in the after pick. And I'll post it on a thumbnail or at the end of the video. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time.